Hello everyone. Welcome to the Engineering Training Channel. Please subscribe, like the video, and check out other videos. In this video, I will show you how to model 2D laminar flow with transit mass transfer using ComSol Multiphysics. To start, click on Model Wizard and select 2D because we are using a 2D example. In this section, we select laminar flow for modeling fluid flow and transport of diluted species for modeling mass transfer. In this example, the concentration of the reactant is very low compared to the solvent concentration. Therefore, we select this physics. We aim to simulate transit mass transfer with fluid flow. However, we will first check the steady state result and then check transit behavior. So we select stationary first. Firstly, we define parameters for this example, including inlet velocity, inlet concentration, and reaction rate constant. Now we create the geometry. Select air as the flow in the liquids and gases tree. We use air flow because our solvent is air. Next, Go to laminar flow and define the inlet and outlet boundary conditions. The inlet velocity is U, I, and the outlet boundary is set to relative atmospheric pressure, which is zero. Now we define the boundary conditions for mass transfer. The inlet concentration is C, I, and for the outlet, we select outflow. We also define the reaction here. The reaction is first order, so we define it as minus Kc where C is the reactant concentration. Now go to transport properties and select the velocity of the laminar flow for the convection term of mass transfer to couple it with fluid flow. Then we create the mesh and run the model. This is the velocity distribution. The walls, the velocity is zero, so we have a fluid boundary layer. This is the concentration distribution. At the walls, because there is no flux, the concentration boundary layer has been created. Additionally, the concentration in the output section decreases due to the exit reaction. Now we check transit mass transfer by selecting time dependent study. In this example, the mass transfer does not affect the fluid flow, so in the time-dependent study, we only select transport of diluted species to reduce computational time, using the fluid flow results from the stationary solver. This is study 1. Now we run the time-dependent model. This is the animation of the concentration distribution. Next, 
we check the outlet concentration and the time it reaches steady state. Almost after one second, it reaches steady state. Now we can decrease the time step to see better results. Finally, we check the conversion of the reactant. This value is 43%. After one second, it reaches the steady state value. Thank you for watching the video.